आपको संबोधित करेंगे नमस्कार जय हिंद गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू टुडे इज अ हिस्टोरिक डे इसरो हैज डेमॉन्स्ट्रेटेड दैट जी एस एल वी मार्क थ्री डी वन एंड जी सैट नाइनटीन मिशन वी हैव बीन एबल टू सक्सेसफुली पुट द सैटेलाइट इन टू द ऑर्बिट एंड आई टेक दिस ऑपरचुनिटी टू कंग्रेचुलेट द एंटायर टीम विच हैज रिलेंटलेसली वर्क ओवर मेनी डिकेड्स एंड फॉर दिस प्रोग्राम फ्रॉम टू थाउजेंड टू a great success in the maiden attempt and now the slv mark 3 has successfully put the sat 19 which is the a next generation satellite with multi beam and we will be looking forward to the operation of this satellite now i would request uh, kunni krishnan director of uh, shar to say a few words on this occasion at the outset let me congratulate and salute the entire isro team and the participating industries for this outstanding ac accomplishment of the successful mission of isro's next generation launch vehicle gslv mark 3 with the new technology high throughput satellite gsat 19 weighing 3.1 ton the great heritage of isro culture the culture of teamwork and commitment to the nation and also the habit of isro to execute complex missions in a very professional way have ultimately culminated into yet another significant event in 2017 at sri harikota enormous amount of efforts have gone in to accomplish this task for many years many generations and also various centers of isro starting from the vikram sarabhai space center the lead center for the design and development of launch vehicles the liquid propulsion centers lpsc and iprc for the development of cryo stage and the liquid stages the sadish dhawan space center responsible for realizing the massive solid motors carrying 400 tons of propellant together and integrating the whole vehicle and satellite and filling the huge amount of liquid and cryo propellants from a remote place 6 km away from the launch pad the launch campaign of our next mission pslv c38 with cartosat 2 is going on full swing in the first launch pad in parallel with this and the launch is scheduled in the next half of this month and also the activities related to s200 preparation for the next mission of gslv mark 3d1 also started and we are planning the total integration of our next gslv d3 next gslv mark 3 flight from the new second vehicle assembly bay for which the preparation is going on the project is in the final phase of realization and which is going to be three times bigger than the present vehicle assembly bay i am sure that the successful mission of gslv mark 3 d1 today will lead to the third stream of operational launch vehicle for isro with higher capacity payload and also the gsat 6 will lead to much higher throughput satellites in the near future let me conclude my words by once again express my sincere gratitude to the entire team for your wonderful job for, for this really wonderful mission thank you i am proud to be indian by having opportunity to work in this marvelous desi technology development today 5th june 2017 is a historical day in the indian science and technology which marks the commencement of a two major complex technology which is essential for the development of this country number 1 the indigenous 100% desi heavy lift launch vehicle which is capable of lifting twice the the present capability of our isro vehicle second one is an advanced uh, satellite high throughput satellite which provides much more 
higher data rate than the present data rate of the satellites. These two technologies in the days to come is going to create revolutions in the applications of space-based technology for the common man of the country in a cost-effective way, more efficient way. How these achievements are done? Is it a single person or single team? No. All of us are aware the stone, the rock, will break not only by the last and final hit, it is by the repeated efforts by the, all the team members. For this purpose, the former and present chairman of ISRO, former and present centre directors of ISRO, former and present employees of ISRO, academicians, industries, everybody contributed wholeheartedly to achieve this mission meticulously. Having seen this particular achievement, what we have seen is, like uh, last mission we had, it is 2014, December, that is the first two stages of this mission we had, we had that passive cryogenic stage. Subsequent to that one, last two, two and a half years, the amount of work done by all the centers of CISO, mainly on aerodynamic shaping of the vehicle, aerodynamic characterization of the vehicle, innovative fabrication strategy to fabricate the hardware very fast way, in an effective way, cost-effective way. This is another thing. And also, the industry's contributions make it that hardware to available the earliest, along with the very, very meticulous planning and carrying out the, our new cryogenic stage test at the LPAC and IPRC. All these things really give fruit to us today. If you are seeing the technology, not only development, much, much more new technologies are got into the vehicle as well as satellite. One specific technology which we have been waiting for quite a long time, this is like a lithium-ion cell. It got into the satellite or beautifully functioned in the, 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 the launch vehicle also. In this great endeavor, the, the effort and support given by our senior the members of ISRO for meticulously planning and uh, carrying out a review and advices wherever essential to improve our uh, the system is a greatly acknowledged. Once again, let me congratulate and compliment the entire team, ISRO, for this uh, marvelous technological growth or achievement what we reached reach today. And definitely, the, this is not the end of the challenges to you. We have much more challenges very, very near future we are going to have. I am sure that all of you will once again rise to the occasion and uh, meet the requirements of ISRO as well as let us make that Indian technology to the to greater heights in the world. Thank you very much. I have no words to express my joy of seeing GSLA Mark III in its maiden full-fledged fl flight, successfully placing GSAT-19 in orbit. This is a dream come true for all those who have worked behind for the last 12 years or so in realizing uh, such uh, this complex technology of launch vehicle, the GSLV Mark III. This mission signifies the testing of C-25 cryogenic upper stage. This launch was, in fact, a test bed for this cryogenic stage to fly since we already done one of the mission proving the S-200 and ton and the basic vehicle in 2014. Today in this mission we have seen a flawless performance of C-25 stage, the fully indigenous developed gas generator cycle, cryogenic engine and stage, really a marvel of technological achievement. And I want to tell you that the team, cryo team, spread across all centers of ISRO, LPSC, VSSC, IPRC and SHAR, they have mastered the technology. The travel we had in the last 25 years in harnessing the knowledge, realizing the first of the CUSP stage, which is flying successfully in GSLV last three flights, it has done fantastic performance. With the knowledge and the skill we have with the cryogenic technology in the GSLV, I'm really proud to say that the cryogenic technology and its you know, uh, nitty-gritty details have been mastered by the team. When we look, stood today for the launch, the worry was very, very less. All the team members were very confident. 
the even the countdown operations where the cryogenic stage filling and preparation has gone flawlessly and the, also the flight of the stage in this mission i'm really proud to once again say the uh, the country has mastered the complex cryogenic technology it is not only the technology it is a skill to realize this technological elements within our country in our indian in industries institutions within isro we were able to manufacture this engine using our own materials and our own manufacturing skills assembly skills testing in innovative testing methodologies and the tools we had developed in understanding the whole dynamics of the engine thermal structural flow and the host of knowledge we have generated internally is tremendous and the young generation who is working on this cryogenics are beaming with confidence and i really want to congratulate and thank all of you who have contributed to making this cryogenic stage uh, successful and making the country proud i am also very happy to see that gsat 19 this is a, it's a, one of the technological satellite which we are launching it's going to change the way we look at spacecraft technology in terms of increasing the throughput and making the data services much more powerful and spread across the entire country and also to, we call it the high throughput satellite compared to the earlier generations of satellite and this technology is also going to make big change in this country in the communication revolution once again thanks to all the people who have contributed the generations of engineers and scientists who worked behind in developing the basic technologies in all isro centers the industries who have helped us in realizing this cryogenic engine and stage within the country which is a really a marvel uh, of uh, engineering and engineering work and i also want to thank all my colleagues who have toiled last many years i can't tell how many years really and this has been their bread and butter their blood and i i am really proud to be one of you thank you once again now we have the mission director ifn today isro has made a golden history making our country proud we have doubled our gto capability as mission director of this prestigious mission i am very proud and honored excited like everyone in isro with this successful maiden flight gslu mark 3 d1 gsat 19 mission experimental flight in december 2014 has given us many valuable inputs subsequently improved the aerodynamic robustness of this vehicle we have developed a totally indigenous cryogenic stage c25 and thus we have made this make in india launch vehicle i must compliment and congratulate my splendid project team spread across all the isro centers for this accomplishment interfacing with various isro centers and industries to make it a reality realization of c25 stage and engine in record time nearly 200 developmenters completed to gain the confidence i congratulate and compliment the teams vssc lpsc iprc iasu sdsc istrac and all centers contributed thank you team isro i deeply acknowledge the contributions of former project directors dr s ramakrishnan sri n narayana murthy and sri s somanath appreciating the industry as well as academic institutions for their contributions very dynamic leadership of our beloved director vssc dr k shivan and constant guidance and support from our beloved chairman isro have also made this event happen and fairly long launch campaign we started this campaign in december 5 and last year and the exemplary support from the dynamic director sdsc mr kunjakrishnan and his team for complimenting this task ahead mrr and frr chairman as well as members and all distinguished gurus a big thanks to all of you all the best to pdg sat 19 and team for the further operations of satellite once again thanking all of you and great accomplishment administration accounts canteen and all auxiliary services for their excellent contributions my very special gratefulness to isro family members for their support thank you thank you very much